Hey spuddies, Potemic Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Now, OTTD is one of my favorite games of all time. I come back to this game every few months to play it. I'm gonna show you how I like to play it. Now, you can, there's, a, there's a bunch of different ways you can play it. You can play it multiplayer, you can play it single player, you can play it against AI, you can play it just on your own, you can play it in sound. There's a billion options in this game. And we're gonna play it in a Toyland map. I've never actually played it in a Toyland map, but I thought, hey, what the hell? Just for a bit of variety, we'll do it here. So how I like to play the game is actually, um, this is what I do when I just wanna screw around for a little bit. Um, I'll set it to 64 times 64, which is the smallest possible map tiles. You can go all the way up to 4,000 by 4,000, which makes a really goddamn big map. That's for people who really love making long train routes. Okay, and we'll go to Terra Genesis. Um, and pretty much everything is standard. We're gonna make, basically what we're making is a tiny little island, okay? And I'm gonna pause here just so you can see. Um, this game really harkens back to like the days of maybe like SimCity 2000 era type stuff. So there's two little towns here. Um, so we're gonna be using airports and there's, uh, see these little toy land trees and stuff like that. I actually can't even tell what's happening on this map because there's uh, bubbles. Cause I can't, <laughs> um, I, I've usually only played with like the default industry. So now I'm trying to like scramble to figure out what these are. So what is this? This requires sugar, toffee and candy flocks and makes sweets. Okay, what is this? This is, oh look, here we go. There's cola wells here. So we get cola out of this. So where does, this makes bubbles. So how do we make soda? It makes plastic and batteries. Oh here, is this it? Ah, so this needs cola and bubbles. Okay, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna make like a, tr a, a trucking company. We're just gonna, we're gonna drive stuff around. So we need to get the cola from here over to here. And we also need to get the bubbles from here to here. Uh, so let's do that. We will unpause the game and I will try to remember how to do that. Road vehicles. Aha, here we go. Build roads. So let's get started. The very first thing we want to do is build some lorry loading bays. And uh, we're going to build them right over. Let me see. Which one is it? This one. Oh, I want the coverage area. So we're going to build them like this. Like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we have this here. If I can select, I want to unselect this now. So three loading bays. Oh, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll, uh, I accidentally blew up some tiles there. I don't, I don't care about using up my money here. Um, we're going to build another one here. Okay, sorry. I just had a bit of a coughing fit. So uh, let's continue on. So this is going to be supplying cola to the fizzy drinks factory. So we shall get our little road going over here. Okay. And now we will build. <clears throat> so this accepts bubbles and cola and supplies candy floss, fizzy drinks, and so on and so forth. So we're gonna want a fairly big station here. So there's toffee over here. Um, so we'll make like a pretty big, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty big uh, station here to gather all up all these materials, like so. And then we need to connect them individually like that. So now we have our first uh, route essentially from over here to over here. So let's get down our depots. This is where our trucks are going to come from. So we'll stick one over here. And it's also where they'll go to get repaired. We'll stick one here and here. And we'll probably put one in the middle later. But for now, that's not. We're not going to do that for now. Uh, usually, also something else. Usually I would have the uh, <laughs> the UI quite a bit smaller. But since I'm playing on a pretty big monitor and I wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing, I, I made the UI really big. So it might not look like this on your screen. So uh, we're going to be transporting cola. So we're going to need cola trucks. So here is the Mighty Mover cola truck and it has like all these amazing stats about it. It has its cost, its weight, its speed, its power, um, its tractive effort, how much it costs to run per year, how much it can carry uh, and designed. So what we're going to do is we are going to buy one of these and we are going to get out of the new road vehicles thing. 
we're going to show the vehicle's orders and we're going to start giving it some orders. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to send it to go to here and then I want it to go to here. And when it gets here, I want it to full load. I want it to full load and then unload. So I want it to full load, full load any cargo. And then I want it to unload and then do not load. Okay. So we can now test this. If I click on the stopped area here, this truck will begin. And here he goes. He's going in here to pick up some cola. So now this station here is supplying cola to this this uh, this cola is supplying this cola factory thing. It's a cola well, right? It's a cola well. It's supplying to this station, and you can see the station. Once this truck takes off, the station will start filling up with cola. Now let me see if I can remember how to clone trucks. Here we go, clone vehicle. So since this is filling up, we're gonna clone this truck and send off another one to go fill up with cola. And you can see our little cola truck is heading on over here. And we'll just keep cloning them until... Uh... Can I change its name? Let me go in here and... How do I get my list of these things? So this should be... I can make a group, right? Cola... Trucks. And I want these two to go into the Cola Trucks category. And uh, I'll just hide you for now down here. Aha, so look, my first truck has arrived and he made his payoff. And, but there's still a lot of Cola stacked up here. So we're gonna, we're gonna recruit a few more of these guys and you can click in here. And then we'll send him out. Road Vehicle 3. And I want to make sure Road Vehicle 3 is assigned to the correct group. He is. He is in the Cola Truck group, which is great. Um, how do I rename them? I don't remember how to rename the trucks, so that's something I'm going to have to do. But there's still a surplus of Cola here. We might need one more truck to meet the demand. So I'll get one more and I can start closing these now. The music in the game is incredible. The, uh, just everything about the game is just wonderful. The gameplay is fantastic. Oh, we might need another cola truck here, actually. I think one more, I think five should do the trick. And this is just what I love to do. Uh, you know, anyone who knows this game is knows that you're not supposed to really use trucks, really, for the game. You're supposed to use, uh... You're supposed to use, um, watch columns. Trains and stuff, but I'm like... Screw that! I'll, I'll use uh, I'll use trucks because I just I, there's something really satisfying about creating like a little trucking company. All right, we will clone another vehicle because we're not quite hitting all the demand. Okay, and uh, we'll let that run for a bit and we'll check if the cola builds up. So this is a sugar mine. Cool. <laughs> sugar mine oh my goodness it's just it's just fantastic i've never played with the, with the toyland setup so this is all fairly alien to me i will i will clone maybe another one so we've used up quite a bit of our cash here but we we should have a cash flow we can even check our balance here so we have spent sixty-seven thousand on new vehicles but our road vehicle income is so far outweighing our road running costs so we should we should increase the amount of money we have over time and we already have some of the infrastructure here to uh <clears throat> excuse me we already have some infrastructure here now to connect up the bubbles now where are the bubbles ah uh -huh, here's the bubble factory so here's a bubble generator we're gonna set up a another thing here we're gonna set up a three long station here we're gonna connect a road to all of them and then come on down to here we're gonna want a depot for our trucks actually yeah well that'll be fine just there so we have uh did i just see somebody with like a racist name on my steam friends list what the hell? <laughs> I need to find out who that is. 
Um, <laughs> oh my god. I need Steam to stop doing that to me. Uh, some people like to troll me by changing their name and stuff. So we're gonna move the bubble, the Mighty Mover Bubble Truck. We're gonna buy a bubble truck and we're gonna do it similar, similar to what we did with the other one. I kinda, I, I, first I wanna figure out how to rename you. I'm trying to remember. Um, Mighty Mover Bubble Truck. So let me... Details. Name, aha, here we go. Bubbles! Okay. And then if we clone it, it'll create bubbles too. Let me actually quickly rename this again, actually. This should be bubbles space one. Okay, so that'll be, that'll be just fine. So bubbles one, uh, we're gonna send them out into the great ride world. Oh wait, bubbles one, did I even give you orders? I didn't, so go, um, bubbles one, go back, go back to your, go back to the depot. And uh, I need you to, I'm gonna sell this guy while I figure out what I'm doing here. All right, you can go now. So truck one, I want you to, um, I want you to go to great, show vehicles orders. Okay, so I want you to go to here and then go to here. And so here you're going to full load and you're not going to no unloading. And then you're going to go to great here and you're going to unload all and you're not going to load any. Okay. So um, we can now start him off and see if he does this thing. Let me just uh, clean this out. Clean out my window here. Now I click on him. Here's bubbles one and we can clone him. Oh my God, I zoomed out a little bit quick there. My bad. So now we're, are we still making more money than we're spending in our truck? Yes, we are. So the, the, the real question is, are there any bubbles? No, okay. So if you see trucks with a 0% above them, that means you are saturated in the um, transport market. That means you are, you have enough trucks to cover the demand that this thing is pumping out. So we have one truck here and it's gonna probably take him a while to fill up on bubbles. So we might not need to clone him too much. Uh, to start out with though, I will go up to three to cover the bubble route. Three trucks to cover the bubble route. And actually, I wanna make sure I group them up uh, into a group because it makes it easier to keep track of them. And I will call this the bubble trucks. I can start moving them in here. My coal trucks are doing pretty well and they're making some good profit. <clears throat> You know, they're not making a huge amount, but they're making a little bit of profit. Uh, these guys are not making a profit yet, but once once this first offload happens over here, his profit of bubbles one should go up here in a moment. So here comes the offload and boom, a little bit of profit. Not much now. The bubble route isn't going to do much for us, but the main thing we're doing this for is to get the fizzy drinks. Now, where can we transport the fizzy drinks? Well, actually, one of the places we can transport them is to these towns. Oh, wait, where, where do fizzy drinks go? So this creates bags of sweets, um, requires toys, plastic batteries. Um, how do I open up the map here? Because I want to find out where the industries are. So it looks like there is an industry. So I have that industry. So if I now create a lorry loading bay, how you see, I can offload fizzy drinks into these towns now. So the question is, does this town over here demand? No, this, this town only takes sweets. So if I want to sell the fizzy drinks, I'm gonna to wanna to put them in this town. So these guys will accept male fizzy drinks and sweets. So I'm going to build a distribution center off to the edge of this town, uh, perhaps over here. And we will build it five long to make a fairly large distribution center. And this should they accept mail and fizzy drinks, and that'll and that'll do it for now. We want these to. Oh my goodness! Is that a new building? I can't tell. How do I rotate my view? Um, I don't remember how, but 
I don't know what that is, but it's in my way. Oh, I think it's a I think it's a town building. Okay, so this is where we're going to be sending the fizzy drinks from Great uh, Mooborn South. Um, let's get our road. Oh, there's a particular way you have to do this. Sloping in the wrong direction. So let me delete some of these. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to send my road a different route. I can't quite get it through here. Although I could maybe, if I carefully blop that down. And this. Quite expensive to do landscaping, so you want to be careful and not do it too much. But that should open up me here now to... Uh, Ah, so we just finished our first year, and our first year, our road vehicle running costs was 4,300, and our road vehicle income was 18,000. So we actually did make some money off our trucks, um, in terms of their operating costs. Now, they haven't paid off their investment yet. So now we have uh, a road connecting Grinding Word Falls North with Great Mooborn South. So the first industry is now ready to be produced, and I think... This is a fizzy drink, so we need to transport fizzy drinks. So we're going to start a new vehicle, and it will be a fizzy drink truck. We will buy this vehicle. And like usual, we will create a new group, and we will call this fizzy drinks. But this is a very specific fizzy drinks route. So if I can, if I can get the name of, what is this town? This is Grinding Worth Fizzy Drinks. Let's rename this. Um, Rename the selected group. This will be Grinding Worth. Grinding Worth. Worth. Fizzy. So now I know that these are fizzy drinks from Grinding. These are fizzy drinks going to Grinding Worth. Um, we're going to create that new group. So this vehicle here is going to be put into Grinding Worth. So now he's in that group. We don't have to worry about that anymore. Any more vehicles that we clone off him will go into that group. Um, we're going to select this guy and we are going to set up his orders. So the very first place I want you to go to, I can move this over here a little bit just so we get a better vision. You're going to go to Great Mooborn South. Then you're going to go to Grinding Worth Falls. So I want you to full load all cargo, no unloading, and then I want you to no loading and then unload all okay so let's see if he pulls this off let's open up this station as well so this should start filling with um with whatever he's getting i can't remember what it is fizzy drinks so here's all the fizzy drinks pouring in from the factory now that they know i'm accepting it we can start cloning this guy and i'm pretty sure fizzy drinks are only produced when materials are supplied and you'll see every time a supply truck comes in, fizzy drinks will be produced. Okay, so that guy's full up, so we'll put in another truck. To pick up the extra fizzy drinks. And we can keep an eye on this guy over here. I'll keep an eye on him so that we can see how much he's worth when he lands off. Um, again, every time these guys unload, new products are produced. 119 fizzy drinks per month are produced. Uh... Okay, second truck has launched. That means we need another one. And we will send them out to the great world. I could start renaming all these trucks. And maybe I'll do that. This is just like my little example playthrough. Don't worry about it. This game is entirely free, by the way. I don't know if I said that right at the start. This guy's about halfway to getting his load off. Um, that is not how I meant to phrase that. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but he's almost there now. He's going to be dropping off his thing now. And how much did we make on? We should make a pretty good profit off this guy. Boom, 1,100. So if we go into now the vehicle list, we go into the grinding word fizzy, you can see he actually made a pretty decent profit um, so far. And the great thing about this is I can look through and say, oh, these bubble trucks, are they making a lot of money? Are they not making a lot of money? 
where his truck arrives in grinding where it falls. And the really cool thing about this game is, now that I'm supplying materials to uh, grinding where it falls, it will start to prosper and grow um, as the as the fizzy drinks are dropped off. The uh, and I'll, I'll you know I'll start getting more favorable. Um, they'll be more favorable to me, and they'll send a land to me cheaper and stuff like that. So another drop off of fizzy drinks, and they should, as as materials are dropped off in this town, they should start to grow a little bit quicker. Okay, so Great Melbourne, uh, Melbourne South. Looks like there's a lot of fizzy drinks here, so I'm gonna have to find a fizzy drinks truck. I think you are a you are loading, so you are a fizzy drinks truck. I've got to clone you, probably a few times. Uh, let's do three, and we'll launch them all off at the same time. That should be a good, good start off. That should clear out some of this backlog that's built up. But you can see now the roads are getting very busy. You can see my little trucks. And there's there's a bouncy castle thing. There's a toy shop over here that I can get more stuff. There is so many more things that I can do. This is only the first sort of production infrastructure that I've, I've put together. Oh, I'm gonna need a few more of these. Uh, Oh, I don't have enough cash. So I've reached the point now where my investments have outstripped my ability to continue. So I'm going to have to wait uh, until until I make some money. And uh, the great thing is you can speed up time. You can see my little truck's going. Mew, 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 mew. You can see the money rolling in. And uh, I can slow it down again. So for example, let's have a look. How many fizzy drinks are stored up here? A lot. So we're gonna want new vehicles to clear up that backlog. Cause any fizzy drinks that aren't being sold, you know, that's a, that's a waste of money. I think that's a fizzy drinks truck, right? Yeah, the fizzy drinks truck. So we will get you started. In fact, I might even clone you again. Oh, I need more money. We'll get you started. You know, and you, you can do trains in this game. You can, you can do airplanes if I show you like there's, you can make like really long train stations. Uh, where is it? If I click on the right thing here, you can make like super long, super huge mega station trains and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I might do like a train station playthrough, but I'm gonna do this little, this little truck playthrough. And you can see like this truck is broken down and he's in the way and he's making my, my trade route inefficient now. And he's, you know, and all my trucks are starting to break down. You can see the little smoke things happening and there's stuff you can do to like minimize the impact that has on your on your business but yeah and like you can go through here and we can look and say oh any of my trucks making a negative no all my trucks are profitable so that's good at least they're profitable for their running costs they're not necessarily you know making have made a profit yet if you know what i mean so we're gonna clone another one of these um these because there's still quite a few of those fizzy drinks that still need to be sold. And uh, I don't like to leave things unsold because these sitting here, this is just, uh, this is stuff I could be selling, you know? We'll speed up time here and we'll see all the trucks going. Ding, ding, ding. It's just something really satisfying about seeing the, uh, the trucks going through. Um, where, oh, grab a fizzy drinks truck and we will clone him and continue these little trucks go around and doing their thing and they're you know they're making me money essentially now every time a breakdown happens it lowers my profitability yeah but you know truck breakdowns in this game are pretty high i, I actually think it's possible if i go into the option screen um settings it's in disasters accidents vehicle breakdowns reduced yeah you can like set it to off Normal, reduced. I mean, I could set it to none. I think I'll just set it to none for fun. Whatever. And we'll set we'll set plane crashes to none. Because plane crashes like to happen way too often. So, these guys shouldn't break down anymore as long as they're getting serviced regularly. Breakdown since last service. Servicing interval, 150 days. Yeah, I feel like a car shouldn't really... For gameplay reasons, if it if it hasn't been you know serviced in 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 the service window, it shouldn't break down, right? It should only really happen if you're not servicing your cars, because um, otherwise you get these massive traffic jams. So we can speed this up now. And this is just my custom way of playing. So we um, 
we spent 14,000 in road vehicle running costs. Now we did a lot of new investments, but the property maintenance was quite bad, but our actual road vehicle income was really high. So we are making money here. There is money to be made in the fizzy drinks industry and uh, we're not done making fizzy drinks. We need to clone more of these guys. I can't do that while we're paused. Oh, I sped it up a little bit too much. I will get two more these guys and I will send them off to get shipping because this is this is um the generally speaking the longer the route the more profitable it is and so far I believe these are my most profitable routes yet um last year for example these made 3,800 and 800 and if we look at some of these bubble trucks you know they only made about 2,000 so 100 the color trucks only made about 2,000 so 100 so these these are my most profitable now the margin isn't gigantic but we have a lot of these guys so that's pretty good Speed things up, get the money to flow in. Um, and I, sometimes I like to just leave this on full speed uh, and let it go. Uh, a lot of the time I like to play it nice and slow so that I can't. So are we still building up fizzy drinks? It looks like we might be slowly clearing the backlog, which is what you want. You want to slowly clear it. You don't want to instantly clear it because that means you have way too many trucks. But if we're slowly clearing that backlog, that's a good thing. Looks like we have just the right amount. Looks like the bubbles here. Um, this is, for some reason, it's not generating enough profit or something to sustain itself. Um, but this town now, it, since it's receiving support in the form of uh, getting fizzy drinks from us, it should start to grow because it's just like a just a game mechanic. So. Um, we can even do some pretty interesting things like for example if i go into my road building tool i can get a bus station going here uh let me so there's this thing you can do where if you press control you can connect them to uh to each other so we're gonna stick down a bus station here Pair of bus stations um, then we're going to want to stick some bus stations in the town Let's see if I can't get a good coverage so I have this area covered so I'm going to want oh it needs flat land it's kind of hard to see but I think I could squeeze one in over here and I want to connect it to uh, Grindingworth Falls North And then I also want to connect this one here. Oh, too far away. Uh, let me get a little bit closer. Not oh, too far away. Maybe here. Grinding where it falls north, and then will you fit? No, okay. So that's about as far as I can reach with these guys. Then I'm also going to want um, to possibly connect up. Can I delete that? I can. They will let me delete that. Then I want to connect up a trucking depot over here. Oh, it needs flat land. Damn it. Um, so this will accept mail and supply mail. I'm going to connect this. And now I can set up mail trucks between these two cities. Um, so I can now pick up passengers and I can pick up mail. And that's going to be something we're going to do when we connect these two towns together. So if I go over here to Great Mulberry, uh, it doesn't quite accept passengers, but it will accept mail. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to get started by placing uh, a little bit of, of, of a supply chain of depots. I think five would be good, but we'll do we'll do three. No, I tell you what we will do. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll cancel that, right? We'll, we'll cancel that and then we'll do instead, we'll do five, like so. Oh, there is no station here. Let me cancel that and I will do five. One, two, three, four, five. Then we'll connect these up like so. 
And this, now if I click on it, accepts nothing. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you were in range. Oh, it supplies mail and accepts nothing. But if I... Now some people consider this like cheating, but no, whatever. If I connect this over here, now it should accept mail and supply mail. So if I also grab a road depot here, stick that down there. We'll go in here, we'll create a new vehicle and we want it to be a mail truck. I'm gonna buy this vehicle. And we want it to go to Great Mooborn. And then we want it to go to this. Now, unlike the other ones, we don't want this to be full loaded. We just want it to load, load if available, load if available, and then unload all. So let's watch it and see how it goes. And we're going to want to probably instantly clone it. And so it just tapped the... Uh, it just barely tapped it, which um, should activated the station. So where are you gone? Oh, you went for a... Oh, I forgot to connect the road. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I'm paused. Right. I need to connect this properly. So this guy now, he's making his way over. Let's see if I can't follow him. And once he hits over here, this place should start generating now mail. If we speed up. Yeah, look, there's the mail. Um, trucks should come back and pick them up. So where are you now? You're over here. Can I get centered on you? Um, oh, there's a new railway available. Cool. Let's see. Uh, we actually, we can actually repay some of our loan, which is causing interest, 4,000 per year, which isn't much, but it's a, it's more than zero. So now we're picking up mail from this station and we're dropping it off in this station and the supply of mail will help this town grow and become more prosperous. Like, let's, uh, let's have a look at the population numbers. If I go to full speed here, just for a couple of minutes, you see the population should be changing and increasing so it's 178 now this is 1519 the population should change over time yeah here's a 188 now because it's getting supplied with goods that are helping it grow and it went down again because I think it's building a new building yep like every time it upgrades or builds a building, the population will, will change a little bit. The 178, 168. Every time a building upgrades, the population goes down temporarily, but then it goes back up uh, shortly afterwards. You can see this is a uh, town is growing every 199 days, which isn't a bad time interval to be growing um, for a little tiny town like that. But you can see how you can like, you can support the towns and you can help them. Oh, you have plastic over here. We can see how cool and rewarding this is. Now this was just like, let me show you my favorite way to play the game. We're going to do a proper playthrough. This was just a, hey, let's look at this. Um, but yeah, this is what we're, we're going to play this. I hope you guys like it. So I want to thank you very much for watching this uh, kind of let's screw around in Open TT, -T -T, Open Tycoon Deluxe. Um, Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe 1.7. This game is free, by the way, if you want to play it. Uh, I will leave links in the description of the video. It's completely open source. Um, and uh, you should definitely play it. It's a lot of fun. And it's a really, really rewarding and enjoyable game. Look, see, we're already up to 204 population. And as the population grows, it'll supply new goods. So, anyway, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.